want to get to uh, Virginia Governor Bob McDonald this morning. He, he delivered the Republican response to the State of the Union address back in 2010. It's nice to see you, Governor. Thank you for being with us. Thanks, Soledad. Hey, you're really up in your game this morning with Congressman Forbes from Virginia. Good job. I know. He's right here. He's right here, right next to me. I'm sure the, go, Ron, I'm sure the governor is. meant everybody. All right, governor, we'll remember that, governor. Let me ask you a question. Why there's going to be two responses to the presidential's the president's uh, speech? So, so why do the Republicans need two? Two really, I, I guess you'd say, Tea Party responses. Well, I bet there'll be thousands of responses, but uh, there's a formal one, obviously, that Marco Rubio will give. I got to give it a couple years ago. That's a tough speech to give, by the way, because the president goes from the well of the U.S. Uh, Congress with a national uh, audience and all the fanfare to uh, one guy looking at a camera. It's a tough speech <laughs> to give, but Marco Rubio's got a great story. I think he'll do it well in distinguishing conservative ideas from liberal ideas and why they work. I think that's going to be the uh, key response. Right, but then there's another one that Rand Paul is giving, right? So why, why a second one? Because while it's not the official official, it's the kind of official official. Well, there'll probably be a Tea Party response and a uh, Progressive Party response and a LaRouche Party response. Look, no. I mean, everybody's free to say what they want to say about the president's, but, uh, about the president's uh, remarks. So uh, I think everybody's entitled to say what they want to say. But yeah. the official response, obviously, is Marco Rubio, and he'll lay out the Republican uh, contrast and uh, the vision for America. So hang on one second, uh, Governor, for me. And, and, and I, want, I do want to ask you about what it was like when you did have to give the response, because you did it kind of in an interesting way. But first, uh, Ron, yeah. is that true that everybody has a response? Because this seems no. very unusual no, no, to no, this me. Is, this is kind of a new tradition that has emerged uh, with a kind of this Tea Party response. I'm really interested. The governor talked about the Republican contrast. I would be interested in his thought. I mean, clearly the debate in Washington is primarily now about debt, deficits, and sequester. The polling tells us the debate in the country is still primarily about jobs and economic growth. And I'm wondering, apart from the contrast, does he see any areas where this president and Democratic Senate and this Republican House are going to be able to work together to try to get the economy moving fast? Any silver anything? lining in that? Sir? Yeah, any place where they overlap and what they want yeah. to do. You know, that's, that's really the fundamental question for America today. And, you know, I pray to God the answer to that is yes, because we are a divided nation, so that as you uh, said earlier, I think these polls uh, showed it the last uh, the last election. Uh, but overwhelmingly, uh, people want to hear about how is the president going to lay out a vision and a plan to work with a Republican House uh, to arrest this immoral 17 trillion dollar in growing national debt and to do something about a nearly 8 percent unemployment rate that's been that way for three or four years now. And so that is the fundamental question. I think Senator Rubio is going to speak a lot about that, the aspirational goals of job and growth and opportunity, the American dream, and why Republican policies do a, do a better job. But I certainly hope the president will find that common ground, lay out the need for a budget in the U.S. Senate, and uh, get us back on the road to prosperity. Let me ask you about the response. You were talking about um, it can be tough to talk into a camera. You did it with a, a live audience, which I, I guess, did it make it yeah. easier? Did it? I mean, you did, no one remembers your response as being terrible, which is saying something. Yeah. Yeah, you know, there have been some really That's a real high bar. I say that with tremendous respect, sir, but you know what I mean. So, um, you know, would you recommend yeah. that? Is that how uh, Marco Rubio should do it? Live audience, warm things up a little bit? You know, everybody's got to see what works for them. I, I thought, you know, looking at that little camera after the president walks out of the Congress to thunder supply. Uh, that's not a very good contrast. So we got a great uh, capital designed by Mr. Jefferson. I thought, hey, delivering it there with a live audience, it would give me more energy and it would uh, it would be a much better contrast. But ultimately, it's the message, uh, not the ambiance, that's going to make a difference and why conservative ideas will work and why overall these progressive ideas on the economy haven't worked for America for the last three years. To me, that's the contrast for Marco Rubio tonight. All right, Governor, thanks for being with us. We certainly appreciate it, Governor Bob McDonald, joining us okay. from the state of Virginia. Thanks, Soledad. You bet. For the